Coming up on Press This, Dan knocks his mic over. Because I'm so excited to talk to you guys about Genesis by Studio Press and Headway Themes. everyone, welcome to another episode of Press This. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. Dan, great to see you on this beautiful spring day. Absolutely. Oh boy, lots to talk about coming up yeah, in this absolutely. series. We're looking at WordPress themes, frameworks, we're comparing them, we're giving you our opinion on them, we want to hear from you. So, slocumstudio.com slash subscribe, slocumstudio.com slash blog, and hit subscribe in YouTube. We're growing at a very fast pace. It's great. 600 subscribers, see. we want to see more of that. Uh, in the days and weeks to come. Glad so, to see you feel like it. Thanks. Yeah, so we can't thank you enough for that. We appreciate your feedback. Uh, do give us more if you have it. All right, so today we're looking at, we're continuing our campaign, and we're looking at Studio Press and Genesis. Yeah. Uh, and Headway Themes. Versus. Um, and their, and their do-it-yourself, drag-and-drop building yeah. theme. Yep. Headway Themes comes from Vespid Inc., um, I found out. <laughs> so <laughs> very good. You were very diligent. It's, on one your of, research. It's, it's one of those funny things. Like sometimes those those things come out, and you you don't know who the creator is. It's kind of hidden in like this little corner, and right. you know they brand it so well. And yeah. they, like you know, it's it's really neat. But anyway, so I let, let let's let's come out and come out in the open here, yeah. and just say that Dan is a beginner WordPress mm -hmm. person. Yeah, that's the whole point. Yeah, is to get his take on. Uh, that third person point of view, not really being deep inside WordPress. And on the other end. And on the other end, developer slash project manager guy, yeah. mm -hmm. not a hardcore coder, uh, but I understand the stuff that goes in right. uh, under the hood. Mm -hmm. So interesting to get your perspective on Genesis versus Headway and more theme frameworks as we go forward. Absolutely. Genesis, what do you think? I like Genesis. Um, the th that's it. No, I'm just kidding. No. So the thing about Genesis is it's a little bit more difficult to get your head around as somebody just starting than something like a headway. And it, and it comes down to the basics. It comes down to the fact that it's not visual and that it's a little bit more, it's a little bit more hypothetical. Mm -hmm. You look at a Genesis page and you say, well, this is what this could be. Mm -hmm. Where with headway, you say, this is what it is. You can take a look at it live as you're demoing it and it's different. And I'll get talk about headway in a second. But with Genesis, it's very interesting. Genesis is, from my understanding and from my research, pretty much the most popular framework for WordPress. And what that means is you start out with a blank slate and you can go to other people to sort of fill in the blanks. Mm -hmm. So just looking around, exploring, going on Google, things like that, even exploring their own, they have their own themes uh, through Studio Press. Um, you pay 60 bucks for Genesis and you get a theme. And it's a very, very, you know, very, very empty theme with, with some coding options. Obviously, they're basic CSS coding stuff from within the, within the theme. Uh, and some different layouts. And what you do from there is you go out and you find different themes that meet your needs. I have noticed that a lot of them look fairly similar. I think those are just the ones that they haven't put as much thought and attention into um, with the coding as others because I have seen others that are a little bit more you know, different. You know, the, Your header text is usually on the top left and the way it kind of breaks itself down is very similar mm -hmm. between guys. The nice thing about Genesis though um, is that if I'm going to be using Genesis uh, and something happens in the upgrade Genesis or something happens with WordPress, you know, WordPress 3.6 is in beta now. So when that comes out, they tweak something and I'm using Genesis. It's going to be very easy for me to say, well, I just use this plugin over, over here or this child theme over here. And I just need to either tweak it a little bit or, or do something like that. Um, and it's a more simple fix because it's so blank canvas. Right, right. That's my thoughts. Good. That's a great take on it. Um, so Dan is the quintessential person <laughs> watching the show, or so I hope, yeah. <laughs> um, who's, who's just kind of starting out with WordPress. Mm -hmm. And the typical breakdown is the person goes and they, okay, I want a WordPress site. Somebody told me I need a WordPress site. It's great for SEO. I can mm -hmm. make millions of dollars right. using it. Uh, they go and they find a theme. This theme looks good. Studio Press is the number one theme uh, provider uh, on right, the yeah. web. Um, and they go and they say, okay, this theme looks good. Uh, this real estate theme looks good. I want, I want to buy this. Yep. They buy that. They get the Genesis framework as well. Mm -hmm. They combine the two and they have a great site. Yes. Then they say, okay, I'm almost there, but I just want to tweak this one thing. Yep. So then they have to go and learn CSS, yeah. HTML, <laughs> maybe some JavaScript. Yeah. Yep. Now, at, what a framework does is it tries to keep you out 
of learning WordPress and learning kind of their framework, how they kind of put it together. Yes. And they do that by, you know, great documentation, co uh, community support forums, short codes, uh, mm -hmm. if, if, if you will, yes. uh, inside of Genesis, uh, and then their own homebrew of, of plugins and the way that they put the site right. together. They're trying to keep you out of having to really hack away at right. WordPress. Right. Um, because when WordPress updates, their framework can stay stable and you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Um, so to the, and if you were to go into the studio press forums, they have some of the best support around, yes, very good support. um, you will see those kinds of questions like, mm -hmm. Hey, I bought X, Y, Z theme. I just want to change it to the color yeah. blue. Yeah. Right. And then they'll say, well, you'll have to go into the style sheet. Yeah. You'll have to edit, you know, this color line here. And then you want to change the link colors to yeah. match. And then you have to go through all this stuff. It's very CSS, very coding oriented. Yeah. Right. Um, but one of the most well-supported frameworks around. Right. That's why we want to pit it up against right. Headway, mm -hmm. which is a polar opposite of how you get a theme online. Right. So Headway um, is a visual mm -hmm. builder. It's a very gooey, intense mm -hmm. visual builder. Like you start from nothing. They have some pre-built stuff, yep. but you can start literally dragging and dropping your layout. Mm -hmm. So what does this mean? That means, hey, I can make any site I want. Yes. The overhead... Yeah. comes into play yeah and i'm not talking and the developers out there are, might, might be watching this saying yeah there's overhead because you don't want to use a, a gui builder because you got all this overhead of uh, extra code that it might put in right. um uh, you know dan was loving he's like i can do rounded <laughs> rounded, yeah, yeah. rounded corners <laughs> and I, I said to myself well i can only imagine what kind of overhead there is right for that for that code right. to do that it's not on fault to them uh, and I'm not saying that there is a bloat or overhead. They've yeah. done an amazing job mm -hmm. to cut out as much as they can. Mm -hmm. um, but the to the veterans out there right. and the guys that do this stuff in their sleep, they're going to say, yeah. I can, you know, there's no need to use all that stuff. Because there's the overhead of time, too. Yes. When you're starting from absolutely mm -hmm. zero, yep. you're like, hey, this is great. I can do anything. Yep. And then you realize, oh, God, I got to yep. style all this stuff, yep. which they make it very easy to do. Yeah. But you're still clicking on this. I got to style the menu now click on this i gotta style the font colors yeah i put the widgets over here and yeah. i gotta style that mm -hmm. um i'm not saying it's a bad thing i'm just saying yep. you know do you have an hour if you only have an hour <laughs> buy a theme get it up and running. yeah yeah right if you have 20 hours then go ahead use headway right and, and i think that's that's sort of that was sort of my take is i think that for a developer's purpose or somebody who's going to be marketing or helping other companies grow using website design i think that genesis seemed like the way to go there mm -hmm. because it is a simpler interface to work with and there's more support from that perspective where headway themes is very much i'm a dude and i'm creating a website or i have a business and i want to create my own singular website headway themes gives you that sort of option my concern with headway is that it is so drag and drop that it becomes sort of like the, the, this very detail oriented thing and you, it almost becomes a little bit sort of you know, you have to take a step back and kind of look at what you're creating. And I don't think a lot of people are going to do that. So we're going to, what I think you're going to see is a lot of different color options and texts and fonts and layouts and things like that. And the page is just going to look like this hodgepodge of stuff. Right. And I think that's just sort of a designer sort of thing. So that's not really a fault of the design of the, the, the service here uh, with headway, but more of a fault of potentially the user. I mean, I'm guilty of doing it myself. So right. And like I, that. I, I, I totally agree. I like to bring it back to, uh, and I hope that the people watching this show are also watching my other podcast on mattreport.com mm -hmm. where I talk to people who are WordPress entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. people who make a living you know, using WordPress. And I think that if you were to, if you're somebody like me or you're, you got a small WordPress shop or you're a marketing consultant, there, these are just another tools. I don't, I don't think they're, uh, competing against each other. Right. The great thing about WordPress is with solutions like this, they're not a lot of money. Right. You know, even if it's a, even if you invest 500 bucks yes. and you buy all these frameworks, yep. that's not a lot of money compared to what you're going to go out and resell mm -hmm. these kinds of tools to people. Cause you might find a client that just wants a site up really fast. And you might say, I'm pointing over there cause he's got studio press up. Yeah. You might, you might <laughs> want to buy a studio press theme and that person just gets up and running and they're off to the races. Yeah. Somebody might come to you and say, you know yep. what? I, I kind of have this vision I've got, you know, this kind of, you know, mock-up already made in my head. Here, here's how I think my site should be laid out. Well, Headway might be a perfect tool mm -hmm. to build that person's website because yep. there's no pre-made theme for it. Yep. And I, and I do want to say that um, 
Genesis is more the sort of grab and go sort of. It's funny because it's drag and drop for Headway, but Headway is more. We talk about ecosystems. It's more of an ecosystem with Headway than with Genesis, I think. And That's I, an interesting way of looking. And at And I'm not saying it in the sense that when you're with Genesis, you're still operating within Genesis. Meaning, if you're looking for a, a theme for Genesis, you're still looking for themes for Genesis. You're not just grabbing a random theme and throwing it on your website. You still have to kind of adhere to the rules that Genesis provides. However, I will say that with Headway, there was much more going on after the fact. Mm. So I don't know if you looked into their blocks, which are basically extensions, similar to like a Woo themes or something like that. Yep. But they have a lot of different blocks you have. They price it differently. So there's a developer license for 174 and a base license for 87 dollars. And with the 174 developer license, you get access to four blocks of your choice upon purchase. So you can kind of start creating your website this way. Um, but it basically turns it into a situation where I now am sort of enveloped in this headway world where, oh, I want to do this. Well, now I have to buy the extension for this as I, <laughs> Not my mic goes flying <laughs> off the table. Um, and uh, I must have gotten really excited about something. And um, I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's yeah, because yeah. you have, and what these blocks are doing, they're, they're taking that, mm -hmm. I can't code this mm -hmm. piece a step further. Right. So they're making these things called blocks that are right. like these pre-made right either layouts um, or things like sliders or excerpts or storefronts. And they're kind of packaging them up and saying, you can display these blocks right. in your headway site right. because you don't know how to code right. these blocks yeah. or you don't have the time to code yeah. the blocks, you know? Right. Um, and they're just plugins with Genesis, you know? Right. Oh, I just need uh, SEO. Okay. I'll just download this SEO plugin. Right. You know, cause it's, it's, again, it's a simpler interface to work with. Right. Right. Um, and there are some massive sites built with Genesis, and I'm mm -hmm. sure there's some massive yep. sites built with Headway. Mm -hmm. uh, I think really what it boils down to, uh, again, is is you you'd have both of these in your toolkit. Yeah, you know, you can have both of these in your toolkit if you're looking to if you're somebody looking to buy one of these. How much time do you have? Yeah, right. You you want to build from scratch in a really simple GUI yep. interface. Headway themes. Great. You want something to run with mm -hmm. that you can still build upon later, but you want something that's got kind of a more finished product. Yeah or finished theme, I should yep. say, you go with Studio Press. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I agree wholeheartedly. And, and vice versa, as we go through all these different frameworks, you'll figure out why. Yeah. Um, but as far as the framework's concerned, Studio Press is the number one framework. Yep. Well-documented, well-supported. It can do some crazy mm -hmm. things. Yep. Um, and there you have it. Great. Awesome. So we do appreciate you watching uh, the show. Press this. Hit subscribe in YouTube. We want to see 6,000 uh, subscriptions. Absolutely. That'd be awesome. Uh, go to our site, slocumstudio.com slash blog slash subscribe to join the mailing list. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, guys.